Hello, happy Memorial Day in the United States and welcome to Creative You Knitting and Crocheting Podcast. I'm Katherine Kirby, your host, and today's theme is Let's Go Fishing. So I decided to do a pattern search on fish and I came up with some really cute and exciting things. But first, I want to catch you up on my Calypso shawl. This is a crochet project and I absolutely love, this is by, um, oh, is it Dragon Horde? Uh, the pattern is easy to memorize once you get started. Do you remember when I hit this brownish color and I was like, oh, I don't know if I like it. Now I love it because it reminds me of a reddish brown. And do you ever notice how crocheters and knitters are very poetic about yarn colors, the way they describe them? They just don't say it was blue. They're like, oh, it was like a midnight sky with like a little bit of, and they go on. So I'm thinking of a, oh, a spring day, and maybe I was on a trip and I went into the caverns and then I came back out into the spring day, but I am loving this pattern. Then I got to like a wheat color and magically the Noro Silk Garden sock just seems to know exactly when to change colors. It amazes me how that works, but it does. So the question is, here we are at the beach with our driftwood and our seashells and Unfortunately, here it's very overcast. Everybody seems to have had their picnics yesterday. And um, it was so good to drive home from the shop and see people having picnics and congregating. Unfortunately, all of our um, festivities here were shut down. So let's go fishing you would be amazed if you did a pattern search both knitting and crocheting um on fishing what you would find so let's have some fun i wish i could do a um like a point presentation to you but here we go here's the first one isn't that so cute and you know the way kids play and they do play acting? This would be fun. This is by Sandy Norwal Eggers. There's a little girl that someone did. Very, very cute. It's a $7 pattern. No, $2.75 pattern. Wow. And then also crocheted. This was done with Karen Simply Soft. This is called Going Fishing hat and you know it wouldn't have to be somebody that loves to fish some people just like certain things like maybe they like turtles or maybe they like swedish fish or maybe they just like fish and this is done with an iron weight yarn and of course the little buttons make the fish's eye and the page shows they're done in all different colors and it looks like a fun pattern. That's by Carlinda Lewis. And it is fun to then go and look at the other projects they have designed. One time we were on vacation and I wish I could tell you the name of this shop, but it was a Friday night. We pulled into a town and I remember walking down a street and there was a yarn shop and you had to go down the steps. And when you walked in, it wasn't very big but there were colorful, I guess, knitted and crocheted fish hanging all over. And I was just, I love it. And ever since then, I have wanted to make fish. This is Finley the crocheted fish. Isn't he just so cute? And I'm thinking he would be a fun pillow. Um, not only that, you can make an opening in him and having be a bag for a little blanket or whatever. That is done by Forever Stitching, and it looks like she likes to do animals and creatures. 
also crocheted. Here's a fish pet placemat. There you go. Put your little kitty food on there. And that is by D.A. Crochet. Here comes a knitted one. Plenty of fish in the sea hat. Hey, you've heard that. Well, there's plenty of fish in the sea. This is a knitted Fair Isle pattern. And let's, that's done with a worsted weight yarn. That sells for $4. And I would think you could get some pretty neat color combinations out of that. Do you remember when everybody, there was this craze where everybody had a betta fish in a big like vase and you had a plant on the top? And I mean, these fish would live on and on, just gave them a little bit of food. That one was by Lisa McFedridge. Well, we had one. And one day I was at a shop and they had a beautiful blue vase, big, for like $20, it was a thrift shop, and I brought it home, I couldn't wait. And when I got home, my fish was belly up, gone. And I'm telling him, you can't, I got you this. <laughs> that darn face. So no fish, I put it on the table, fill it with water, put things in it, and I walk by and I see my dog had peed on the floor. Very unusual for Sunny. And I kind of fussed her and cleaned it up. Later, the same thing. And then I realized that vase had a leak. So I didn't have a very good history. This is called Swedish Fish Socks by Spilly Jane. So there are some people out there that just love Swedish Fish, 403 projects. It's a $6 pattern. It looks really fun, doesn't it? It does. Wow. Wouldn't they make a great gift too for somebody who loves to fish? Hey, years ago I sold Avon and I would go to this house and this lady was very practical. Her hair was cut short, no nonsense person. She actually dressed exactly like my, my grandmother in kind of outdated, faded, what they called pedal pushers back then, sleeveless tops. Everything in the house had its place. And she would say, well, I get my housework done early so I can go fishing. Well, I wouldn't have expected that. And then one day we get got to talking and she was actually my grandmother's first cousin. Can you believe that? They didn't even interact and they were so much alike. Here is a child's number 42 fish hat knitted. Is that cute or what? I always, you know, want to see a picture of a child. J. H. Miller did that. And there's a good picture. Uh, I could picture a little kid wearing that around all the time. And then there's a picture of all these kids in a class that all have a fish hat. And I'm assuming that's hat number 42 because this person has design lots and lots of hats. There's hat number 43. And wouldn't they be fun in self-striping yarns? Wow. So, one year my mother gave my, uh, her little great-grandson a fish pillow, not knitted or crocheted, just a fabric. And you know, I thought, he's not gonna care about that. Oh, he went on and on. This was the best present he ever had in his life little fish that you make for your kitty and I'm assuming that you could put catnip in them this is a free pattern by Jenna Wingate and done in a worsted weight yarn I'm sure it just takes you could also make a little kitty toy out of it so yeah that was like the best thing he ever got one time we were at the beach and I took a walk very early and I saw this man working to pull out a fish and pretty soon he had a crowd looking at him. We all wanted to know like, what is fighting him? What is he trying to get out? It was a baby shark. If that didn't get all our attention, look at those. He almost got bit trying to put it back. Fancy fish set two by Megan Lapp. Wow, 
And you know, you can just picture some of your yarns or scraps. These remind me of the betta fish we had in the jar. When my husband and I first got married, we got an aquarium. We did lots of new stuff as a new couple, you know, new this, new that, let's try that, let's try this. And um, here's set number one. So the problem was, look at them. Neither of us wanted to really take responsibility for cleaning the tank. I think I had grandiose ideas because my pastor used to have this big tank with angelfish and they were so gorgeous. So anyway, we kept buying fish and something kept eating them. Now this is one of the patterns well, this is one of the projects that, that somebody did off that pattern. Is that cool or what? If you're not saving your little scraps, please do. And if you're worried that they'll get tangled, you can put them on these little bobbins that you can buy at a yarn shop or just cut out little pieces of cardboard. This is called the Tiny Trio Beta Fish Octopus and Frog. And again, aren't they fun? It seems like there's two schools of customers. One like to make cute little things. This is again by Megan Lapp, where they say, well, kind of like that's silly. What would you do with that? Here's a puff fish. And if you ever saw a puff fish in an aquarium, you can appreciate them. I think that would be really great and tactile for a baby because they could pick it up at those little points. That's by Sky Magenta. And I would do my baby toys in cotton so you don't have that fuzz from acrylic yarn. Look at the tea cozy. Can you imagine if you, you were on a fishing trip or you were with your husband and you stayed at a bed and breakfast and they had all these cute little things like the, the placemat and the tea cozy. There's a fish dishcloth. Fish Easy Knit by Tina Knitting. This I thought was really cute and I like bunny muffs patterns. This is just called Fish Scales. Well, I think that's a, an attractive hat. I like her choice of color of pom-poms. That's called Fish Scales by Bunny Muff. It's $4.99, unfortunately only one pattern listed. And this is called Fish Hat by Lana Bakaviva. And I really like that too. That is pretty. And I like the gold and gray together. And look at her beautiful picture. Oh, 19 projects. Be interesting to see people's color combinations. She did like a mauve and a pink. Oh, see how fun this is? You can get so engrossed in this. There's another pretty one in neutral colors. I had to actually stop myself from putting things in my queue. And I think that you can go into my Ravelry. It's just Catherine Kirby, all one word. And I think you can go into my queue and look at all of these things. They'd be like number one down to 20. Here's a fish bag by Marjorie Jones kid could put their stuff in that, right? Put their lunch and whatever. 86 projects, that is crochet, that's a free pattern. And it looks like people had fun with that. Okay, a fish beach bag done with red heart scrubby smoothie, huh? It doesn't really look like that yarn. I have some of that, but again, it's a little bag because you know, when you're fishing, you have your stuff. I thought stuff was a modern word and I was reading the book of Joshua and they pilfered loot and they had their stuff. Now this, she doesn't show you a very good complete picture. Um, here you go. I think that's a little better. I'm attracted to that because you could put it over a sleeveless dress. It's called Fish 
Tail Chalette DK Yarn 300 to 400 yards and there's only one project and it's hers but I think I would like that for spring and summer this is called fish bones by Mara D it's knitted and there you go not so much anymore but when I was a child and my mom would make fish for dinner I always had to pick these sharp little bones out well let me tell you a story Last night, I was making salmon for our dinner, and I had it on a cookie sheet, and I thought, I haven't broiled anything in a long time. So I put the heat up to broil, had the long piece of salmon on a cookie sheet. I sit down, I'm crocheting, and all of a sudden, I hear this loud bang. I didn't know what it was. I opened up the oven, and my cookie sheet was up like that on the one end. I was... I was like shocked. So I just let it go. When I got it out of the oven, it was all distorted like that. And after it cooled, it settled back down. <laughs> it was really bizarre. I have this little leisure art booklet at the shop and I thought it would be really cute for a kid. And it, I think it sells for like something like $5.99. It's just a little booklet with some patterns on. Peruvian fish pillow. So this would be great for the fishermen or the sea. I love it. And I love those three colors together. In fact, I had picked out those very three colors. I was going to do um, a baby blanket. So you'll always have your folks that love the red, black, and white. Here's like a wheat, a blue, and a red, and ah, oh, somebody made a rug out of it. Is that pretty? Wow, creative, right? And then there's just a blue and white one. The more sharp your colors contrast, the, um, the nicer it's going to look. And wait till you see Lola by Rebecca Hatcher. You gotta love Lola. <laughs> I love Lola. I feel like I want Lola on my bed. <laughs> 30 projects, $4 pattern knitted. And there's Lola. And that is done with the self-striping yarn. So just about saving your scraps. One of my customers came in the other day and she is older she's on a strict budget and she made scrappy sweaters for her grandchildren but she calls them happy sweaters and next podcast i'll show you pictures because she told me she has 20 different colors on little um whatchamacallit she got me to order in and uh bobbins now these are washcloth soap holders not watch soap holders but I guess it could be a washcloth too. You could give it as a gift, put the soap inside. And that is done with crochet thread. Let me tell you, crochet thread is economically is one of the best kept secrets in this industry. And look at that. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, love it. What if you did all your fish different colors? That's $3 Great Britain. Or you could do all the stripes, different colors. Here's Fish Beanie by Sandra Jagger. Two colors reversed. Ah, and it looks like corrugated ribbing. Those two colors maybe don't show up as well, but still, it's nice. Blue and brown are always a winner in my book. I always tell people at the shop that they buy the yarn that matches their clothing, and I've seen it over and over. And Katie, hey Katie, Katie said yesterday, well, don't you think subconsciously you wear clothing that goes with the project you're working on? Well, maybe true, but people are coming in and buying new yarn, and it's matching their clothes. This is Passionate Crafter, and I love, love, love her crochet patterns. Love them. In fact, I'm working on the Minion Blanket very, very slowly 
as it takes a back seat to other projects. Here's Fish 20 Grams by Aurelia Marie Mad. And again, his personality. He looks realistic. He is crocheted. There's a big one and a small one. So back to our aquarium when we first got married, we couldn't figure out who was eating all of these fish we kept getting. And look at these guys or gals. Aren't they special? That's called Let's Go Fishing by Katya Renznikova. And they have a loop so you could, a child could pretend he or she is fishing. And um, that sells for $5.20. So finally, we figured it out, and it was, a, it was a fish we would have never suspected. He was eating all the other fish. Fishes of the Sea Hat by Teresa Gavi. Great hat to wear on the beach on a cool day. There we go again. That is knitted. It sells for $5. There's 33 projects and all kind of fun colors. I'm by the front window today. It's overcast, so there wasn't really a good spot. Fish flounder, I gotta love this guy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Maybe for you it's silly, but for me, done by Alina Peach Eugenia. And just a few more. Here's a fish hat. Little crocheted fish hats. Are they not really cute? Can't you see a little kid, kid running around with his fish hat on? Here it shows all different colors. You don't have to worry about buttons for the eyes because you just crochet them. I think that's really cute. $5 pattern by Sally Gorsey McCaffrey. Here's another Freddy Fish. I think I've made Freddy Fish. I think he's hanging at my yarn shop and I did him in Euro Baby Maypole, which was self-striping. And he looks like um, a clownfish. Here's Upscale Fishing Pillow. done by Lorraine Jordan, and there he is in color. Oh, so many neat things. School of Fish Scrubbies, free pattern. There you go, do, you do them with a scrubby yarn. You know, if somebody walked into your bathroom and they were hanging up in those bright colors, that is the first thing. I have this book called Babies and Toddlers, A Knitter's Dozen, and I've always been intrigued by this fish blanket. I've always just wondered about it and about doing it. And doing it in all 251 projects, that's been the most projects that I have seen in any one thing today. There's one of the and it looks like you make all those little things and then you put them together. So, seems like people didn't mind. 34 inch by 47, done by Paula Levy. Very creative. And I think this is the last one, knitted, called the Fish Jumper. So you do the little sweater and you have the fish border by Jane Rie in a DK weight yarn. Oh, one more, fish mitts. Perfect thing to wear fishing on that chilly day, right? My husband, I'll end this with a story. Um, my husband went fishing with a patient of mine a few years back and Joe, had been going fishing for years. We have a beautiful man-made lake at the end of town. And um, so my husband got there with his fishing rod. I mean, not a bad fishing rod, but these guys had pagers. 
they would hook, they would put all their rods up and then they'd play cards. And then if a beeper went off, then they knew they had a fish. My husband said, wow, they were way above. They were, <laughs> look at that. That is called TJ's Gone Fishing by Trisha Mitberg. And that is a free pattern. Oh, look how cute done for a little girl. Ah, you can see how much fun I'm having. I hope you're having fun. There's another really cute one. So yeah, he said, wow, I was just so out of my league. And I think one more, Gone Fishing Beanie. I like this a lot by Anna, A-N-N-A-H. Today is our granddaughter, Anna. 14th birthday, and I know she's not watching, but 15th birthday, she'd be insulted. Happy birthday, Anna. I like this a lot, and I like the colors. I love the way the, the yellow really stands up and the gray background. Anna Wadler, and that is a $3 pattern done in a DK weight yarn. Whoa, crash. Sorry about that. I bet that was really loud on your end. So there you go. So have you felt like we've gone fishing? <laughs> I hope you have a great holiday and a good Monday and keep shining, keep smiling and shine, baby, shine. I'll see you the next time. God bless.